of California citrus industry is worth about $2 billion. Well, these days there is a major pest that is threatening the citrus industry. It's called the Asian citrus psyllid, and once it infects a tree, it is fatal to the tree. There is no cure. One of the best weapons to fight the pest, however, is a dog like Dozer working with the California Department of Food and Agriculture. And we're joined this morning by inspector and canine handle, handler Jennifer Berger uh, to show us what Dozer does. And then also entomologist Dr. Jason Leathers. Thanks to all three of you for coming in today. We appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, I'd never heard of the psyllid before. Where's this thing come from? It's native to the Punjab region of India and Pakistan, but it's spread around much of the world. It arrived in Florida in 1998 and it's been making its way west through Mexico. So it's taken a while to get here, but it's definitely an issue right now. Yeah, it looks like it's in established in Southern California, and we're trying to protect the Central Valley. Okay, so once you find it, what do you do with it to, to uh, stop it? Yeah, we have an eradication program to try to um, basically eliminate it from certain areas where, where we can in the Central but Valley. you find it first. Exactly. Okay, so let's show now, because Jennifer Dozer is able to help achieve that, and how does Dozer do that? Dozer is looking for the host, so Dozer is looking for plant material that can carry this insect, so okay. citrus, citrus leaves, curry. Any of those things, so he is All right. trained to find those. Well, let's see how Dozer does it. I'm curious okay. to see this. So, in these boxes, in the mystery boxes, yeah. what do we have? Well, this represents basically we go to shipping facilities such as UPS, the post office, and FedEx. So, different things are shipped, you know, toys, candy, everything. Okay. We'll send him off on his way. There we go. We'll uh, see how let's he go does. Go find it. So, he's smelling for these things now. <laughs> he found something. I feel like we're on a game show, Jason. Yeah. It's like, what's in the mystery box? Right. And it is... Citrus! Dozer so wins! Every time one, he gets a cookie. He gets a little treat. Good boy. So, Jennifer, is this kind of like what you guys do at some of the international airports? Like, I know when I fly in and out of SFO or LAX, a lot of times you'll see the dogs going in and you get that reminder you're not allowed to bring food in from other they countries. They do the same thing that we do, but they are customs agricultural agents. We're trained at the same place, but their dogs do the same exact job, looking for the citrus and other host fruits. Good boy. Great. Oh, he did a good job, didn't he? Yes. So these dogs, I would imagine, Jason, have proved invaluable for what you do then to try to track it down and then eradicate it. That's right. You know, an ounce of prevention is a pound of cure, so everything we can intercept is one less uh, pest we have to worry about in California. Is there anything that, that we in, in the public can do to help you guys out as you try to fight this? Because it's one of those things that until uh, it affects the price of citrus, a lot of times people don't pay attention. Right, that's exactly right. And what, you, what people can really do is check their citrus trees at home, go outside and look for any unusual pest or disease symptoms. And if you find any, you can report them to our pest hotline. Okay. You take a picture of it, maybe show you. Yeah, you can send in an iPhone photograph, and then Perfect. we'll write back to you uh, pretty quickly and let you know if that's something you should be worried about. Excellent. And there's the number up there on your screen: 1-800-491-1899. If you see some sort of a weird bug, take a picture of it, send it in to Jason, and we'll let you know what you're looking at. Thanks yeah. to all of you for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And for more information on how this pest works and how you can protect your trees, don't forget to go to kcra.com. There is a link under the On TV tab, and you can look under the As Seen On section.